As you've heard recently, the brand new iOS 18 update just made its way onto the iPhone SE 3. So in this video, I'll be explaining to you all whether or not you should get it on this device. So first off, let's start off with customization on the home screen. So the first thing to mention is that you can move apps to whoever you want on the home screen. So for example, I can move this passwords app to the middle of the home screen and it'll just stay there. Now the next thing we have with iOS 18 is the ability to change the style of the app icons. And we could do this by pressing on the edit button, then customize. And you can see that we can set it to dark mode and light mode. And we could also change up the colors. So for example, I could set it to blue. And that's pretty much all the words for the home screen customization. Now the next thing we have is customization on the lock screen. So when I go into the lock screen, you'll see that we now have multiple pages. And if I hold down on it, I could add new controls. So there's a whole new list here of controls we've never had in the control center. And that's basically all the words for customization in the control center. So on the lock screen, we also have several new wallpapers. And I already have one of them enabled right now. And if we go and add a new wallpaper and we scroll down, you'll see that there's a brand new section for iOS 18. And here it is. And we basically have four different new wallpapers. Now that's basically all the words for customization with iOS 18. Let's now move on to the to all the new features on the calculator app. So when we go into the calculator, we can actually check the search history by pressing on these three lines. And here it is. And if we press on this calculator button, it'll give us three different options for basic, scientific, and math notes. And there's also an option to convert diff from different currencies. And that's basically all the words for the calculator. Now moving back to the home screen, we now have the ability to log and hide apps. Now I don't think they've added the feature yet, but it should come by the time iOS 18 is fully released. Now the next new feature that we have with iOS 18 is a new passwords app. And like the name suggests, this is basically where you can store all the passwords for your apps. And in my opinion, this is actually going to be very useful because in the past, many password apps have been hacked. But if you also want to share your passwords across Windows and other operating systems, then I don't recommend that you use this new passwords app. Now the next few features that we have are going to be in the messages app. And basically, if I open a conversation and I try reacting to it, you'll see that the looks of these reactions have changed and you can now react with emojis. And if I press on this, I can react with whichever emoji that I want to. And also another feature that you can do when reacting to messages is you could press on add sticker. And this is basically what that looks like. Also, you could format your messages by when you're highlighting them, just press on this button. And you can basically add one of these four formats onto the messages. But when you use one of these effects, it doesn't allow you to use the formats. Now that's basically all the words for messages in iOS 18. The next feature that we need to cover is with Apple Pay. So one new feature that they added is that when you have two devices touching each other, it allows you to Apple Pay just like that, kind of like with contact sharing, if you know what that is. And this will make the process with Apple Paying a lot more easy. Now the next new feature with iOS 18 is the ability to use satellites. So you can do this by holding down on the control center and you have the option here to press on satellite. I just don't have a SIM card on my phone, so I'm not able to do that, but you could use a satellite just in case of emergencies. Now the last feature that we need to cover with iOS 18 is the new customized photos app. So when I go into the photos, you'll see that we've got a way different design here. And you could also use filters by pressing over here. And when you press on the photo or watch a video, you'll see that the way it looks is a lot more different. And the layout of all these functions have completely changed. Now let's talk about whether or not iOS 18 is worth getting on the iPhone SE 3. So my suggestion is that if iOS 18 is no longer in its beta version, I do recommend that you update unless, unless you don't like the new customization in iOS 18. And that would definitely be hard to get used to. But for the majority of you, if iOS 18 is fully out to everyone, then it's definitely worth updating. And in case there's any problems, just make sure to back up your iPhone while it's on iOS at 17. You can do that by going into settings and then press on your profile at the top and press on iCloud and press on iCloud backup and just go ahead and back up your iPhone before you update to iOS 18. And then if there's any problems, just watch the video in the description to downgrade back to iOS 17. Now, if iOS 18 isn't out at the time you're watching this and it's still in its public beta, beta version, then I don't recommend that you update unless you really want to try out the new features. And if you do end up updating while it's still in its beta version, then, then you could just watch the video in the description to downgrade back to iOS 17, like I mentioned earlier. 
However, if at the time you're watching this, iOS 18 is in its developer beta version, then I don't recommend that you update at all because there's just too many bugs and your battery will drain really fast. Now, that's basically it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my channel to see more videos like this in the future.